Hello, I'm Michael Beam. And I'm Chris Pierce. And this is The Linux Show. Uh, we're going to be bringing you the up-to-date open source news on software and community. So, our first story tonight is the first follow-up story we've ever done. Uh, last week we reported about Monsoon Multimedia being uh, taken to court on GPL violations. Well, um, we have an update to that story this week. They, uh, they have admitted that they were at fault and have uh, begun to issue source code for the BusyBox and other applications they use. And uh, they're going to do everything they can to comply with the GPL. Well, that's very good. They're uh, starting to uh, do what everyone else does when the FSF comes knocking on their door, which is pretty much saying, oh, we're sorry, we're sorry, we'll, we'll make it all better. Uh, why didn't they do this earlier? Does anyone know it's, that? Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, usually the FSF, that's a free software foundation, of course, usually they'll, uh, they'll notify a company that they're in violation and the company will, um, they'll either fix the problem or they'll stop using the software. Right. Um, the, re the way Monsoon Multimedia has handled this, uh, it got a lot farther than it had to before they did what most companies do anyway. So um, right. I'm not really sure of the reason, but I mean, there might be something more to this. That's Just true. Know. That's true. Well, in other news, uh, FreeSpire announced today uh, that immediately uh, it's going to have available the first commercial paid uh, support uh, of its FreeSpire 2.0 uh, <laughs> users. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> that's pretty great news. Um, it really is. Uh, FreeSpire is a good, uh, a good operating system. It has a bit of a tricky name, though. Uh, it's gotten some flack in the, the previous uh, yeah, editions um, for having an ambiguous name, being that it's, it's one of the deceptive. Mo FreeSpire uh, does not use all free software. In fact, they're one of the Linux distributions that uh, don't have any qualms about using proprietary drivers and right. codecs and things. So. Um, I mean, it, it makes a lot of stuff work better, and, and most of it is still legal to use. And In fact, right. I think all of it that comes standard with FreeSpire is legal to have in there. It's right. just um, like getting some problems. It's more of a question of philosophy than right. actual whether it works or not. Um, another big news this week, uh, the Linux Driver Project, which you may have heard of. The Linux Driver Project is uh, headed by a... Um, a prominent kernel developer and um, what their goal was was that any company that wanted to have their drivers run in f with Linux could uh, notify um, the the free driver project and they would um, and they would work to create the drivers with the company's help and uh, they were developing they were going to be developing a lot of drivers for Linux but uh, what happened was that the free driver project kind of died out. There was too much work for this guy, the head developer guy, uh, named Greg, and um, and uh, it just kind of went under. But recently, Novell gave the head developer um, the full time job of working with the Linux driver project. So you know, over a hundred developers and at least ten project managers under him now. Full time, they're going to be doing the driver project, so we expect to see some great things come out of there. Most definitely, that's that's really uh, a great step ahead uh, for Novell. They've uh, they've really helped the open source community by doing that. Uh, <clears throat> really uh, necessary part. Yeah, it'll it, it should increase usability and in oh, sure definitely. Terms. So yeah. Definitely. All right. Well, in other news, uh, the first beta release of Ubuntu 7.10, uh, Gusty Given, uh, has been released today. That's that's great. A um, couple of changes uh, that have occurred. It comes standard now with Compiz Fusion. Which that's is that that's sweet. Fancy little uh, cube desktop. Compiz kind of Fusion. It didn't used to come standard, but right now you'll be able to have all the little effects. The cube. Oh, love me some effects. Really popular is the cube. Or yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's the little stuff. burnout effect when it minimizes <laughs> and such. That's great stuff. Yeah. Also, I think it comes with GNOME uh, 2.20, which yeah. is nice. It's going to come with GNOME 2.20, and uh, I mean, it 
it's got different stuff going on for it. Ubuntu 7.10. It, it'll be big, um, and it, it should it should be more usable, easy to install. Hopefully, pretty easy to upgrade for those of you that already use Ubuntu uh, 7.04. And um, gonna have some new features. It, it'll really be great. That it will. That it will. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Michael Bean. And I'm Chris Pierce. And uh, this was the Linux Show bringing you up-to-date news about the open source community and open source software.